it's Dr. McBerry here, and I want to welcome you to our second video series in understanding objective. And in our last video, we went over how we use the drop the mic method to let our students demonstrate their learning through writing objectives that are measurable, independent, and criteria based. Today, I want to talk about how you can unpack standards to develop multiple objectives to ensure that students re reach grade level expectations by the end of the year. So, and when you look at these standards, now the Common Core Anchor Standards are written this way. Um, they have them from 12th grade and they're anchor standards. And they've decided that they're, these are the 10 standards. And by the time you finish high school, this is where you should end. So if we were to look at craft and structure for reading literature, you know, interpret words and phrases that are used in a text, including determining technical, connotative, figurative meanings, and analyze how specific word choices shape meaning or tone. And then they went back, okay, that's where you have to be at 12th grade, and then went back all the way to kindergarten. Um, and when you look at the literature standards, for example, we could pull up a grade four standard and we looked at, you know, this first one here, refer to details and examples in a text when explaining what the text says explicitly when drawing inferences from the text. If we went back to those anchor standards, that would align right to here. Read closely, determine what the text says explicitly, and to make logical inferences from it, cite specific textual evidence when writing or speaking to support conclusions drawn from the text. So that fourth grade standard is supposed to help build them up from here. Well, there's a lot in that standard. We need to break it down, right? And that's what we're going to do in this video is learn how to unpack a standards into what students know and can be able to do. Um, and then you can realize how many objectives are really in a standard. So let's go over to the book. that standard. And it says to refer to details and examples, explaining what the text says explicitly and when drawing inferences from the text. And remember from that last video, we know that we need to break this up into what students know and do, right? So they need to be able to refer to details and examples in the text when explaining what the text says explicitly and when drawing inferences. So we need to know what um, it means to have an implicit and explicit inference. So they need to know what implicit is, explicit, inference. Uh -huh. Now what verbs they need to do? They need to refer. And so we can switch here. Things like they need to explain. And they need to draw inferences first. They need to refer to the text, explain what the text says, and infer what the text means. So there could be lots and lots of different objectives just from this one standard. And you would never teach this one standard all in one lesson, right? You would teach multiple lessons. So you really need to break this down into um, elements, okay? So if we wanted to just write some example standards, let's think about that. You know, well, we need to um, implicit and explicit. So right there, we could do, you know, we could have students compare explicit and in explicit information. If that could be a standard. Implicit details. You want to add a conditions, you could say in a text or, you know, you can mention the text. Before they can even do that, you might want to have them identify explicit details. Uh, maybe they would need to infer implied main ideas of a paragraph. All of these would help students reach that learning objective. All of those 
are part of that grade level expectation. So your goal is to get them up to grade level by the end of the year. So do not think you're gonna be stuffing a, a standard um, into one single lesson. A lesson is based on basically trying to teach one or two objectives. Too many times we try to stuff um, way too many objectives into our lessons and they get over packed. Um, that's pretty much it. And if you can remember that you can take a standard and break it down into knowledge and skills, and then also take the, the, the knowledge and skills and kind of scaffold it all out into like from beginning to harder, you're ready to start developing objectives from learning standards. And in our next video, we're going to be talking about how we can use cognitive taxonomies to ensure that we're increasing the, the, the difficulty and the intellectual risk that our students take in our learning objectives.